My room is an actual official mess. We had a rule that we were not allowed to put anything away or tidy up for the past few days in preparation for this video so that we could actually have like a pretty messy bedroom to work with. And in this video, not only am I gonna show you how to quickly tidy a room and make it look great, I'm also gonna walk you through professional steps, how professionals clean a bedroom when they tackle it. Because it's one thing to just clean your room, but it's another thing to clean your room like a pro. And we're gonna be doing the latter today. If you're new to the Clean My Space channel, welcome. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you always know when we have a new video coming out. You can also give this video a thumbs up if you're into bright colors. Now the professional approach to cleaning a bedroom is to start by stripping the sheets. I'm not washing my duvet cover here, but I will wash the sheets and the shams. The reason you do this is so that laundry, or the sheets in this case, can be passively washed while you're doing your cleaning. And ideally by the time you're done, you can either make your bed back up, of course you have to take a break and go to the dryer, or you can change your load over to the dryer when you're done cleaning your room and at some point later put your sheets on your bed. Now on your way back in, this is what I did, I grabbed some hangers because I know I have things that I'm gonna have to hang up. The way that the first wave of cleaning starts is you pick a start point, so in this case I picked my night side table and I tidy and organize. So my whole job here is just to straighten things up, tidy and organize. If I have laundry, I'm folding it, I'm hanging it up, or I'm putting it into the hamper. And of course, I'm gonna have to leave this point at some point to either move things into an area where I'll have to take it out of the room, hang things up, or put them away. But I'm always anchoring myself back to the point that I was working on until I'm done there, so I don't get sidetracked and I work my way around the room methodically. So here I'm just sectioning off different types of laundry. Everything that's at the foot of the room there is to go into Riley's room. And I'm working my way around the room. I always start at my starting point and I treat my room like a clock. I try to clean hour by hour. So in this first wave, again, we're just focusing on tidying and organizing. Now, it might seem a little bit wasteful because you're kind of organizing things and then when you clean, you actually have to remove them and clean them. I always like to do that during this stage because I find that it actually just helps me when I'm cleaning. I know exactly where I put things back. I don't have to think about it. But if you don't like organizing during the first wave, you can always do it during the second wave. In the bedroom, I find, at least in my room that I share with Chad, of course, that laundry is our biggest challenge in keeping things tidy, which is why I'm spending the most time doing laundry. Another tip is to put all of your bedding on top of the bed. That way it doesn't get in your way when you're doing the rest of your cleaning, including cleaning the floors. Now I've come to the end of the first wave, so my job here is to get rid of all of the stuff that I've placed at the end of the room so that it's not built up for later. And then, as I always say, I kind of tether myself back to the starting point to get cracking on wave two. Now wave two is the actual cleaning portion of this work. So what I've done is I've grabbed my cleaning tools and I'm getting ready to actually do the cleaning, which would include dusting, polishing, disinfecting, and wiping. In this case, I've decided to do a little bit of extra work here because I haven't done this in a while, and I'm starting with high dusting. So I've got a mop pole, I have fixed a microfiber cloth to it, and I'm working my way around the room, getting all of those higher up surfaces that don't necessarily get cleaned all too often. Now that that's done, I've grabbed an all-purpose microfiber cloth, a bottle of all-purpose cleaner, and a flat weave microfiber cloth. This is how I clean a surface. I remove everything from the surface, give it a wipe down. You can see I'm being pretty thorough here, pretty much removing everything, and even getting behind to get the baseboards. What I'll do when I'm done that little section is pick up each item and wipe it and replace it. That way it's dusted, but I'm cleaning it over the floor instead of cleaning it back over the clean surface. And the nice part about what I did in wave one is I know exactly where things should go in wave two. Now as I move my way around the room, I'm working from left to right, top to bottom, tackling any little messes and marks that I see. So if I notice a spot on the wall, if I have to wipe a switch plate, if I have to dust or wipe a mirror, I'm just always going top to bottom, top to bottom. So you'll just see me working quickly around the room, always going top to bottom. 
Door frames are another area that a lot of people don't think about cleaning, but those little grooves or edges are places where, you know, dust can build over time. So this is something I haven't done in a while. I figured it would be time to do. Now on the built-ins, I've noticed there are a lot of fingerprints on the top drawers. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the light to illuminate where those fingerprints are. A little bit of all-purpose cleaner on that microfiber cloth is gonna help me get rid of those dusty fingerprints. And by the time I was done doing that task, they looked so much better. Now here again, I'm working section by section. So I'm spraying the surface in this area. Then I will crouch down. I'll do the same thing, look for fingerprints, start to clean those off, wipe the handles, move on to the next set of drawers, do the same thing. And I'm just spot cleaning the TV. Honestly, if you're working top to bottom, I should have done this before I wiped the surface, but even pros make mistakes sometimes. Now what I'm doing is I'm cleaning off the accessories that go back on top of the built-in. Again, I'm cleaning them on the floor so that I'm not putting any dirt or dust back onto the surface. And I'm just gonna reorganize exactly how it was when I tidied and that area is good to go. Now again, I'm not gonna clean a surface if it's clean, so I'm just spot checking those glass doors and if anything needed to be cleaned, I would have done that. I'm not cleaning windows today, but I did decide just to dust those window frames. Same thing goes for the actual picture frame. I'm just spot cleaning. Baseboards, I decided to do those today while I was cleaning. So all I do when I'm cleaning baseboards is I take my dampened cloth and when I get down to the bottom, I just give them a nice quick horizontal wipe and then I move on to my next section. So here at Chad's nightside table, you'll see I'm clearing everything off. Next, I'm standing up working from top to bottom. So I dusted the light, the light switch plate. Now I'm cleaning the surface, moving on to the base of the nightside table that I'm getting behind, pushing it back against the wall. And I'll start to wipe the items that go back onto the surface, replace them neatly, and that's how it's done. So if, let's say this wasn't my room and Chad was living in that room, he would come in and say, oh yeah, everything looks exactly the way I left it, just a lot neater. So that's how pros do it. At this point, I've completed the second wave and I'm ready to get started on the third wave, which is cleaning the floors. So here I have my stick vac and I'm simply vacuuming the rug. I decided to start with the rug first and I'm gonna switch heads so that I do the hardwood afterward. But I always like getting the rug first, that way I don't have to worry about doing it once I've done the hardwood floor. So there, I just swapped out the head. And now I'm gonna clean the hardwood. And I like to work section by section. And I always like to vacuum away from the area that I've cleaned and move any pieces of furniture out of the way that could be getting in, into the way. Now the other thing you'll notice that I do is I lift up the corner of the rug. If you're in a room with hardwood floor and a rug, it's always good to lift up the rug and kind of vacuum around the edge. The other thing I'll point out is that I vacuumed right up to the end of the furniture, but then I stopped and then I vacuumed all the way along the back of those built-ins. That is so that I don't bang into anything and ruin any of the built-ins or furniture with the vacuum. So that's another little pro tip for you. A nice thing to remember when you're making up the bed, especially if you're particular about pillows, is to make sure that you keep the pillows on the proper side of the bed for people who are sharing a bed. Chad and I are very particular about our pillows. And I remember in my cleaning business, we would have clients who would complain and say, you put the wrong pillow back on the bed. So what's really important is to make sure that you keep the pillows where they belong when you're making your bed up. Now I'm not doing hardcore hospital corners here, but I'm just doing a little quick and dirty version because it's nice and tidy. And there you go, a little bit of final fluffing and the bed's made and the room looks beautiful. Not only did I tidy the living daylights out of this room, but I also cleaned it. I spent some extra time going through and giving it a bit of an extra polish. And while I was doing that, I demonstrated some professional techniques so that you can go into cleaning your room with confidence and ensuring that you protect all of your surfaces, and you don't damage them while you're cleaning them. And of course, that you get the best possible clean you could ever imagine. And that brings me to this week's common question, which is, when you take your clothes off, are you responsible and you hang them up or put them in the laundry hamper? Do you whip them on the floor? Or do you have a chair, the chair, or a treadmill that you throw your clothes on instead? Let me know what you do with your clothes at the end of the day in the comments down below. I'd love to tell you that I'm great at hanging my stuff up and putting it in the hamper all the time, but that's my side and my clothes usually end up right there in that corner. And then I have to 
deal with it down the line. But I'd love to hear what you guys do in the comments down below. If you want to see what we're up to during the rest of the week, you can follow along on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. Chad is at the Chad Reynolds. The two of us are at Clean My Space. If you like the Clean My Space channel, the easiest way to support us is just to watch one of our videos right after this one. And here are a couple that we think you might love. If you want to check out Maker's Clean Microfiber Cloths, you can visit this button right over here. There is a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.